So here we have 6,321 divided by 5. And you might have spotted straight away that 6,321 isn't a multiple of 5. We will get a remainder. But rather than just writing our remainder, what we'll learn to do here is express our remainder in decimal form. So, using short division as normal, 6 divided by 5 is 1 remainder 1, 13 divided by 5 is 2 remainder 3, 32 divided by 5 is 6 remainder 2, and now 21 divided by 5 is 4 remainder 1. But what can we do with that remainder 1? Well, let's extend our place values with a point 0. Now we haven't changed the question because 6321.0 is the same as 6321. But what that means is that we can write the one remainder we have from dividing 21 by 5 in front of the 0 we now have in our tenths. So because we now have a decimal point in our question, we need to copy that decimal point up to our answer. And now we can do 10 divided by 5, which is 2. So rather than giving our answer as 1,264 remainder 1, or 1,264 and 1 fifth, we can give our answer as a decimal instead. Now let's work out 2,791 divided by 4. 27 divided by 4 is 6 remainder 1. Now 19 divided by 4 is 4 remainder 3. And 31 divided by 4 is 7 remainder 3. So let's extend our place values with a decimal point and then a zero. So now we have somewhere to write the remainder 3 we got from dividing 31 by 4. And because we now have a decimal point in our question, we need a decimal point in our answer. So now 30 divided by 4 is 7 remainder 2. But what can we do with that remainder 2? Well, we now need a hundredths digit. And we can do that because 2,791.00 is the same as 2,791. So we haven't changed the question, but now we have somewhere to write our remainder 2. So now... 20 divided by 4 is 5, so our answer is 647.75. So rather than giving our answer as 647 remainder 3, or 647 and 3 quarters, we can write our answer as 647.75.